Hello, everyone. One day in 1950, a middle-aged woman walked into the slums of a very large city. She had only two pounds in her purse, no income and no place to stay. She believed that this call to serve the poorest of the poor came from God and he would provide all that was needed. That woman, of course, was St. Teresa. She had nothing to start off with but the equivalent of the five loaves and two fishes, but just like the little boy in the story, she made them freely available to God, and then the miracle happened. The multiplication of the loaves in her instance has been translated into the founding of scores of schools and leprosy clinics, umpteen homes for the dying, and hundreds of thousands of co-workers the world over. In today's Gospel, a small boy was asked to part with his precious loaves and fishes. When he willingly does so, Jesus swings into action and miraculously feeds the crowd. Like that little boy, God asks small sacrifices of us too, and if we respond with generosity, he can reach out through us to many others who hunger for his love. Saint Teresa of the Child Jesus said that God need, needs from us neither great deeds nor profound thoughts. What he cherishes is simplicity. Parting with five loaves and two fishes seems a rather simple gesture on the outside. When he asks something of us, howsoever small, do we respond with the same willingness and generosity as that little boy? We all know that the feeding of the crowd foreshadows the Eucharist, or the Mass. When we share worthily in the Eucharist, God can satisfy firstly our own spiritual hunger and through us the spiritual longing of many others who come our way. Jesus said in St. John's Gospel, Labour not for the food that perisheth, but for the food which endures to eternal life. Now most people in our society are not hungering for ordinary food. We have got plenty of that. In fact, we've got too much of it. We throw a lot of it away. So they're not hungering for ordinary food and drink, at least in our part of the world. But there is a great spiritual hunger in many people's lives for a meaning to life, a real sense of belonging an acceptance of who they are, a longing for pardon and forgiveness, ultimately a yearning for love, without which life is bereft of meaning. Twelve hampers were collected from the scraps after the people had had their fill. I notice that people who generously give of themselves to others they always seem to have something left over for the next person. I'm told that Mother Teresa, she never ever turned anybody away from our homes from the dying or from our leprosy clinics. She always had room, even though she, the home could have been considered full, but she never turned anyone away, unlike when Mary and Joseph on that first Christmas night when they were looking for a place to stay and for Jesus to be born. No vacancy sign appeared in the window and they had to go their way. In our society, you sometimes hear of parents, for instance, with lots of children of their own who are still willing to take in an orphan or a child who is unwanted. Now that is love. That is the type of love which Jesus wants. St. Teresa of Lisso has this to say. Love gives everything, but we, alas, we give only after reckoning. We hesitate to sacrifice what is advantageous to ourselves. This is not love, she said, for love is blind. It's a wild torrent that leaves nothing behind in the path where it has gone. In the passage today, Jesus sent no one away hungry. They all ate, the scripture tells us, as much as they wanted. 
When we come to him hungering for his love, peace and forgiveness, we won't be sent away hungry either. Now thank you all for listening and God bless you all. Oh.